I've never done it before, even though it's I've been time many times to iftar dinners. But when I went to iftar dinners, I was the only person there who hadn't fasted. And so I decided that I would try it out of a gesture of respect uh, and affection for the Muslim community, but also so that I could understand, uh, at least in part for one day, what the experience is like. And so uh, when I went to bed last night, that was the last time I had anything to eat or drink uh, until now, when I just had a date a few moments ago. Uh, but uh, I'm certainly looking forward to enjoying the iftar dinner uh, in a few minutes. So how was that, your fasting? Well, it was very interesting because you certainly notice that you're not eating or drinking. In my case, it would normally start with a cup of coffee first thing in the morning. And it is when you do it every day, and I don't drink a lot of coffee, but I, I have one cup, uh, you notice that you don't have it. Uh, uh, you notice during the day you might be a little bit thirsty and a little bit hungry. And the only other thing I would say that I noticed is in the middle afternoon I was a little bit tired. And I don't know if people who fast all the time during Ramadan find they get a bit tired because they haven't eaten in the afternoon. They probably get used to it. But it was worthwhile for me to understand the sacrifice that's involved, to understand the commitment to faith that is involved for those who do it for the whole month, uh, every single day. Uh, and it just gives me a tiny understanding better than I had before of uh, the sacrifice that's involved, the importance that is placed on the holy month of Ramadan and, and on the uh, fasting out of respect for, uh, for Ramadan. So with fasting you emphasize not only for Muslims, also with people who are less fortunate and don't have enough food and clean water. So how did you, what do you how, how do you feel it? Well, you definitely uh, come to appreciate much more how lucky we are in most cases because there are people in Toronto who don't have enough food. Uh, we are blessed to have a lot of clean water here uh, and it's uh, made available you know, by the city. But I think that uh, one thing I've come to understand over the years, even before I fasted today, uh, is the immense uh, dedication to community and the part of Ramadan that is so important that it's about helping other people. When I've gone to the iftar dinners, I went to one at the Islamic Institute in Scarborough, and there they were collecting food for other people who were less fortunate. I went to an iftar dinner at the mosque in Thornfield Park. There they were collecting money to give to the hospitals in Toronto. And so I think I've come to better understand through all of these iftar dinners and through uh, even coming to Friday prayers and so on, how uh, important a part of the Islamic faith it is to give back to your community to help those who are less fortunate. And I think today, when you're fasting, you think about that as well, people who are less fortunate. Yeah. So do you have any message to people who are living in diverse atmosphere? Well, I would just say that we consider our diversity here in Toronto to be a blessing. Um, it is something where we have been uh, so fortunate to have people from around the world, from all faiths and all nationalities and all skin colors come to live in Toronto. And what we try to do here is make sure they can live happily together, understand each other, embrace each other, accept each other, uh, because we think that's how you build a strong city that's a model for the rest of the world. And at a time when the world is going in the other direction, in many cases into terrible acts uh, that uh, disrupt the peaceful worship, uh, terrible uh, acts of discrimination and hatred, uh, we're going to try and make sure that that doesn't come to Toronto because we think we have a way of life here that is uh, very special and that we have been so lucky to have people come from all the different faiths, including the Islamic faith, to be uh, with us here in Toronto. Thank you very much, Mr. Tori, thank sharing you your much. experience with us. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Tori was with us. I have another guest with a different topic in the shade of Ramadan. Happy Ramadan. <laughs>